is a project who are uh, devoted to have uh, some basic tools to identify the common crustose coral in rad algae associated with coral reefs in the Hawaiian uh, archipelago. And uh, one of the main problems is that the coral lines are uh, mixed in the bottom of the corals, mixed in the reef, uh, in, the, in the rocky areas. And uh, the history of this group has been uh, very complex because uh, another good treatment of the Hawaiian coral lines are available until now. There is a monograph published in 1982 by Adian collaborators without uh, a very deep in detail sampling. Uh, and I think uh, that uh, I will uh, take that in, in a minute. Uh, the, the goal of this project is to familiarize persons who have never looked at crustal coral lines to notice how they grow together, what features are important to remember and emph and or emphasize, and to make crustal coral lines clear in the morphology and association with other species, including with coral animals. And this is very important because one of the end ups, uh, one of the products of this project is that we know now a uh, few of these coralline uh, algae species are really close related with corals and interfere into their uh, development. Uh, one of them are being ca called in other areas uh, coral killer. We have a good evidence uh, that maybe is, is the case. But also <clears throat> by associating them in a ways that they are usually found by publishing an identification guide. What we are aiming is to present an identification guide simply enough for the managers, in the, among the many, many other things that they have to do, or people who want to monitor ecosystems, use this key with an uh, artificial key to identify the coral energy confident enough in the field with a digital camera, with a photographic equipment, just to let them to a species name. I think it's possible, and in any case, it's necessary the confirmation by a section or by a, like a review with a specialist. But the, the identification guide, I am very convinced that will help people to identify the species of coral in algae, the common ones in the Hawaiian islands, and also uh, help the people to identify what is not a coral in algae and what is not very common in the islands. Um, also, we almost complete an accurate nomenclatural list of curling species that have been previously been reported from Hawaii. And to combine this with the species that we are currently collecting, so that it will be possible to use other literature and know how, to, how those names coincide, coincide with the current classification. This is a, a larger goal that we have uh, to put in order all the uh, curling names in the Hawaiian archipelago. Uh, the, List, I say the last time, is around 70 species, but in the guide will be only the common, and the common were selected based on who are common in the four islands and in the shallow water. Um, the, this is the basic uh, structure of the, of the guide that I, I uh, talked about last time. This is just the introduction, the scope of format, how to recognize the coral in algae. This is a section I just uh, discussed with, with my copy I and uh, based on observations uh, of uh, some invertebrates related with coral in algae and also conversation with some of the managers who will feel more interesting to know which animals are related with this algae and which kind of uh, monitoring activities can be done. Um, well, the, the way to process coral in algae for the formal ID. The guide will have a formal ID, a uh, scientific key to identify the coral in algae but what we are going to see now is just the artificial one, which is for the common. Uh, one thing I have to say is that the list, the list that we have now are like uh, 17 names. But to be honest with you, there are much more species in the Hawaiian uh, archipelago. I think there are at least 15 in shallow water. And <clears throat> but these are the most common ones, the ones who the people will find very often, not only among islands. Uh, Around the same island, they will be very common in particular habitats. The format of the key will have, like I say, a picture of the habitat showing where we can find these species, maybe animals who are close by, and uh, potentially a picture of the structure or the taxonomic structure to identify uh, the species. Also, well, how to identify the species, a little description based on uh, scientific grounds, 
But the distribution of Hawaiian Island, which areas we have been collecting, the confirmed records, the ecological distribution, where we are going to put here some of the animals or the corals who are living close by, and the key taxonomic references who will help the people to come back and identify this plan uh, confidently without giving too much trouble. But for the one um, who doesn't want to get this very deep in detailed science, we will use the guide for preliminary identification of a species, which I think is a, an artificial key, and is based on purely a superficial view of the thalli. One thing I've been uh, struggle with this key is that if you say some kind of a form, it has some interpretation that people can mislead the name. Uh, some species in particular, and we are also going to include in the guide, uh, can grow as an in, uh, incrustant growth form. It can grow as a free-living thalic, as a rhodolith. It can have branches. So there are some species who are so polymorphic that will make more complex to identify things. Um, most of the surface view is what we are seeing most of the time and can be used with hand lenses or a high-quality digital camera. Um, Sorai is, um, is not a reproductive chamber. And it's, it looks like a very um, um, funny structure on the surface of the thalli. And once you get used to see this thing, you can see often uh, in any other samples you want. While you, when you are familiar with conceptacles, you have to see 10, 20 plants to get this <coughs> idea. You can identify the difference among a sori, which is only the, the, the reproductive structure outside of the thalli, or the conceptacle. And in the conceptacle, it's very important if the conceptacle is, is high, is flush over the, uh, among the surface of the thalli, or is uh, embedded in the, in the thalli. We will see later. Um, there are three species of sporolithon in the Hawaiian Islands. These two, Episorodium and Eritraeum, is, uh, it has been reported already, and they are very common. Eritraeum is this purplish one, which is in the uh, um, Reef Algae book, very well uh, described. And the Pisorodium is more uh, um, clear uh, red. And I don't think the quality of this picture is good enough to show, but you can see some of these clouds around here who mimics this one. This is very clear and it can be uh, easily identified. Sporoliton durum has not been described for the Hawaiian Islands. Uh, uh, Yvonne Chamberlain identified years ago with Dr. Isabel Abbott. It's really easy to identify. It's a free-living coralline algae. Also can be uh, growing attached. But the sori are so big that it, it can be seen with a naked eye. It's not, it's not a confusion. These two are crustos all the time. This, most of the time, is uh, this uh, branch morphology. 